Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh, hello there mailbox. Hello there mailman. What's up? This is a letter from the old wayfarer. <coughs> Here we go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Have you found yourself on the path of Wayfaring Link? Don't fret if you haven't. You may already be on the way and not know it. Yes, finding your way isn't like discovering a pebble lodged between your toes. No, a true Wayfarer can travel the whole world and never find just one way. But I did want to give you something unusual that I found on my own travels. May it serve as a reminder that you can find anything if you give it enough time. Sincerely yours, the old Wayfarer. Ship part. By the way, did I mention before that I made a mistake uh, regarding the ship parts? Every single one of them is random. Not this, uh, not one set of them like I thought before. So everything that you'll see is random, basically. <laughs> anyway, peaceful bridge ship parts. There we go. <clears throat> and that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? And I'm out of here. And thus he is gone. <laughs> all right. This island is nice and warm and laid back. There has to be something hiding in a place like this. Snoop around this island. I kind of kind of already did last part. Yeah, I would like to leave. <laughs> so, to the sea we go! And we can't really warp over to the southern sea just yet. Because of stuff that, you know, we didn't quite get via the frogs. So, we've got to actually sail the whole way there, which is okay by me, because sailing doesn't take nearly as long as it does in Wind Waker. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Uh oh. Oh no. Pirate ships. Do not be seen by those if you can help it. They are a very powerful foe. Hello, Squiddy. <laughs> they, they shoot at you like like you would shoot at them and they are they got like a whole load of health they're hard to hit because they're moving targets and yeah they're just not the best kind of things to encounter on the sea so be careful of those critters well I don't want to say critters I don't know who's behind the pirate ships <laughs> it's not like Squiddy here who I can shoot two at the same time oh now they started to separate <laughs> come on how many rupees can we rack up this time how many? Oh shoot, we got a flying fish now too. Out of my way. Ah, oh, you split him to three. Get him. No, 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 you aren't going back into the sea just yet. No, 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 I'm milking this for all I can. <laughs> it's coming to the end of my roads. Although I could flip around, they'll still follow. Oh shoot, oh, sh oh, mm. oh whatever, it's too late. <laughs> Alright, now I think I'm gonna do a little loopsy around here to get that frog. On my way to Merkay Island, so that is the route that I'm going to be taking here. And another thing is the sailing is a lot more fun in Phantom Hourglass than it is the Wind Waker. Um, I mean, it looks just as vast, so you still get that atmosphere, but it's not nearly as long, so you have a, you basically have a choice of whether or not you want to sail for long periods of times around areas to get your atmosphere going and whatnot as opposed to being forcefully having the sail for many, many minutes at a time. <laughs> and there's also a lot more enemies and stuff to find along the sea as well, so... Yeah, you always gotta be alert, and it just keeps keeps the momentum going here, and it doesn't feel like a, a drag along the way. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see here. Where is Froggy? Hello, Froggy! I'm coming! I'm going! Oh, forget it. <laughs> there it is! There it is! Get it, get it, get it! Get it, get it, get it, get it, rip it, rip it! <laughs> and now let's get ourselves another symbol for our Cyclone Slates. See charts, da 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 I'm gonna just erase this, I think would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah I gotta whole bunch of stuff going on here on the map. I, I, I'll probably get that one a little bit later. But, uh, alright, here we go. How about starting there? Da 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 da. That's terrible. <laughs> Just don't slip too much with the fingers. That's also terrible. Gotta do it basically in one stroke because it's hard to rejoin your strokes. <laughs> uh, there we go. That's better. 
I like that much better. Alright, got it, got it, got it, and yes, good, go! <laughs> so, uh, as I said, we're going to be going to the Phantom of the Ocean King... Uh, <laughs> the Temple of the Ocean King one more time to deal with the Phantoms. But, since we've got bombs this time, we could do things a whole lot faster than we could before. And as long as we're passing through... Another male. <laughs> As long as they're passing through here, I'll grab that spirit gem over at the, uh, Salvatore, really? <clears throat> at the ye old shop there. Greetings, Link! No doubt you were waiting for a note from me, the master of diversions. So come by again, I mean, if you want. Play Caber 2. What? Got, got better things to do? I'll be waiting. Where else am I going to go? I'll be the guy starting, <coughs> staring at the sea, bored out of my mind. Sincerely yours, Salvatore. This is the guy that I played the game of, you know, the shooting game with the targets and stuff like that. Ah, oh, I got a wisdom gem from him! Woohoo! He's so nice! <laughs> and that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? And I'm out of here. Needless to say, I'm playing this on a different day that I'm getting all this mail. <laughs> Anyway, going in, and we're gonna buy this power gem like no one's bought this power gem before. <clears throat> How do you like those ish? <clears throat> ah, I'm so mucusy today for some reason. Behold, another gem within a minute. <laughs> Woo! Alright, now we got them from those shops the shop on the other island, this shop here, and Beetle at the nor northwestern, I mean, yeah, no, no, yeah, northwestern sea, excuse me. All right, no, 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 I should do that. <laughs> and, 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 get ready, get ready, for we will never have to take the northern stairs over there again, for we can take on these blocks. See, oh, shoot, that's, that's not even close. <laughs> Dang, uphill. All right, there we go, and also on our way here, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at that, look at that! Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Switching menus for fun! Oh yeah! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and, and... There's something here. There's something here. What could there be here? Who knows? I will tap that to see. <laughs> the three fallen adventurers slumber forever within the Temple of the Ocean King. They have fallen, but you can seek their advice on how to survive the temple. Well... Maybe we'll come across some of those adventures. But for now, let's open this. Let the let the potion! Yeah! There's also something else here, as you can tell by that eye there. So what you might want to do is mark on the map... I... I... That's... That's a decent eye, I guess. <laughs> got the pupil, got the eye a little slanted, but it looks like an eye, and that's all that matters. <laughs> So mark that on your map. Alright, so, Temple of the Ocean King, not Phantom of the Ocean King. <laughs> We're going in again, and as I said, it's, we can get through a lot quicker than before, and that's the name of the game here in the Temple of the Ocean King. So I'm going to show you how to get through this bad boy a lot quicker. What we're going to do here is just immediately run towards here. The door is already open for us because they already had that open from last time. But other stuff is reset. So you've got to re-solve the puzzles. But we can do these puzzles differently this time. Now that we've got the fruits of our labor at other locations. Look at that. We can now go straight to the door with the key. Without even having to use a safe zone, the fact that it's probably even slower than just running up towards the key here. Behold, I got the small key, and that means floor number one is done without even having any issues with the phantoms whatsoever. Yeah, you can get back through here pretty quick once you have other items and you're able to unlock other stuff along the way. Now watch this floor. What I'm going to do here is wait for him to turn to the left. Now what I'm going to do is do my tapping method, just hit that, he's going to go down straight the middle, and I just want to do the old methods to go through there, mainly more than anything. I don't really have to hit this one if I don't want to, but I'm going to do so anyway just to kind of get his att- oh, oh yeah, I do have to hit that to get the key going, I forgot about that. And oh shoot, oh shoot, oh she turned around too quickly! <laughs> That's okay. He'll go back to his perch quick enough. Oh, he's going that way? Well, whatever, that's fine. Uh, but anyway, what I want to do is go over here, because there's a blastable wall right there. And that'll allow me to go here. 
to get the key thusly. And... Oh, whoa, whoa, what am I doing? Why did I tap the shovel of all things? Get that! Woo! Hey, why didn't that light up the last time I threw the... the boomerang at that key before? You know, uh, I did that dirt, and then they gave you that yellow sunburst type thing. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, floor number two is done! Look how quick this is going! Even with that little mistake that I had with the Phantom. Now, this is probably gonna take you the most time per run through here, but uh, as long as you're going around here, hey, why not grab the 30? Yes, that's why you got it marked on your map! Never forget to mark on your map so that you can remind yourself in the future of stuff that you would like to get. I'm gonna wait for them to go around here. It won't take too long. Once they both turn their opposite directions there, I'm gonna go run through here, and by run I mean sort of kind of stretch my legs trying to go as fast as possible because I can't really go all that fast with carrying a force gem. <laughs> and there we go. Now, as long as I'm over here, we're gonna give ourselves even more time. Oh, yes! Look at that! And why did I use that and not my right shortcut button? Yeah, if you hit right on the control pad, you go to the items. Left, you go to the menu on the side there, and yeah. Up, doesn't really do anything. <laughs> and now, just to make things a little easier, I guess, I'm gonna zip that over... Oops. I'm gonna zip that over there, because it makes it easier to run if I... If a phantom is coming for me, <clears throat> because there is a couple of spikes there, and I gotta loop around through here via. Well, actually, I can still do it the other way, I guess. And there we go. Wait, actually, you know what I should do to multitask here? I'm gonna wait for him to come around, and then I'm gonna hit him with the boomerang so he drops his key, so I don't have to do this puzzle here. And then I'll take. Uh, well, I actually take either of them at any time, but. Alright, uh, I think it's gonna take about the same amount of time to uh, do my run arounds with the Force Gem. Da -ba -da -ba -ba! I'm surprised the Phantom didn't hear that music. <laughs> Maybe it just blends in with the rest of the dungeon's music, I don't know. Alright, now I'm gonna stay hot on his heels because I don't want to lose too much time having to. Well, I guess maybe I should have waited a little longer there, because I think it would save more time, not... Yeah, that's okay, though. Just gonna sneak on by you very carefully and plop this in place. <clears throat> I'm also gonna try and run against the flow of phantoms that are going around in that circle to try and get this force gem over here before it goes back around in this... Uh, I don't think I'll be able to have time. We'll probably have to go around this way and follow this phantom. That's okay, though. Wah! And don't worry about having to redo these floors up teen amount of times. You have opportunities to warp in the future through this dungeon, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But you will have to do these floors one more time, though. So that might be a bummer to you. <laughs> Alright, by the way, those flickering lines on the ground, they're not in the actual game, that is an emulation type error type thing. Uh, it's kind of a necessary evil, I think, with the whole graphic uh, the, uh, graphic layering thing that I showed before, if I'm not mistaken, but, well, this is the best I can do to record this game, and it still works perfectly fine. <laughs> Woo! Alright, now, new territory. Are you ready? Are you ready, I say? But first, before we go there... Yep, there's this door right here. But actually, before we go there... Oh, leave this to me! Damn, this is the door of wisdom! I'll use my powers to open it! Are you ready? Then tap the door! I'm not ready, because there is something I do not want to forget here. Plus 30 seconds! <laughs> now I can go and tap this door. Remember, always get those seconds of extras, yes. <laughs> Alright, new floors, new territory, get some hearts if you'd like to, and get ready. We've got some new stuff coming. Behold! The Phantom Eyes! They tattle on you if they should see you, and then the phantoms will run towards you. Allow me to explain. Those are phantom eyes. They act as extra eyes for the phantoms. If one sees you... Yeah, what happens if one sees you? 
the phantoms will find you, and then it only gets worse, so be cautious. However, unlike phantoms, these creatures can be defeated. Find them on the map. Make sure to defeat them before they see you. I get it, so you have to find a way to hit them before they see you. Come on, let's get going. Go to a safe zone if they see you, Link. So make sure you have your boomerang out for this, and then get on your running spree. There's an eye over there. You might want to mark that when you get to the safe zone. Oops, whoops, whoops. I'm going to do, like, do another eye here. That's a little better than my first eye. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go over here and very carefully hit you and hit that. Whoops, 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 whoops. Hit you and then hit that. Boop. There we go. Because that'll give me time to do so. Now over here, you're, you're plus 30 seconds. Ah, oh, shoot. I am releasing my L button way, way too early. And now I'm going to run through here while that phantom is going in that, in that direction. And I'm, also, I'm going to go and try and get that one there. Oh, I failed. That's okay. There is a pot with a safe zone over here. If I yep, as I thought. Oh no, oh no! I was seen! Well, I guess it's good that I was able to show that. <laughs> I killed that one by with the pot. <laughs> so yeah, getting seen by the phantoms, other ones will spawn sometimes in some areas, so uh... Yeah, that's not something you want to make a habit of. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go here and... But don't worry, they'll be reset the next time you come through here. It's not that big of a deal. Now that I got those, the chest will appear over there, but I'm not done yet. I want to go and... Whoops, 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 whoops. I want to go here and dig up that because... That will stop the wind in the area and make it far easier to get through here, because that wind prevents you from going from place to place. Oh, shoot, why did I go that way? <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I should always look at the map. Alright, so over here, we are going to get a pretty nice prize. It's a power gym, yeah, oh yeah. Now, I forgot what to do for the rest of this here, because there's, there's a spikes there, which is blocking my way for... Oh, right, bombs. <laughs> That makes sense, because I got bombs! We are now officially able to go through here! There we go, and now I'm gonna hit the switch. By the way, those little holes are something of a shortcut later on. Uh, you won't be able to fit through them, but something else will be able to. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I'm gonna hide over there while they do their rounds. Uh, because I, I, I would have been in their line of sight. Oh, actually, I could have ran for the key, couldn't I have? Yeah, I think I would have been seen, but I could have still ran for the key. Anyway, I'm just gonna go through here now, and he's gonna go down, that one's gonna go right. As I said, I have the Phantom's directions virtually memorized, because I've been through this place so many times. So I don't really have to mark it on my map. Alright, use your items wisely to earn more time. If you come through here again, talk to me, I will teach you something valuable for stopping by. Can I talk to you again right now? <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to remember you for the future, so hold on a sec. First, I'm gonna mark this here. I'm gonna mark a key here. I'm going to mar mark a bombable wall here, so I guess I'll just make a dark circle with a fuse coming out of it. And then a switch here, a switch here, um, plus 30 here. I should have probably marked this stuff as I went. Uh, safe zone there. And wait, 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 switch here. Uh, okay, I think that's all I need to mark. <laughs> all right, so now that I got the key, I can go down this way very carefully. Bye bye. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm seen now because there's a safe zone right behind the door. Voila. Alright, next one. This is more like a battle floor than anything. Um, 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 I need that for this, I think. So. Oh, well, I can do that, I guess, but I thought there was a switch over there. Oh, right, I can't do... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's retractable. Durr. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, battle mode time. Let's go as quickly as we possibly can. Of course, they're the slowest kind of enemies you can come across because they have their zappy zaps. <laughs> That's okay. Now, I marked that there's 30 seconds here and there's... I mean, 15 seconds here and 15 seconds here, if I recall correctly. 
Because, yeah, there's those pots there. And what I'd like you to do for to maximize your time is throw it off to the side so that you run into it on your way back through so that you don't have to do any travel time back that you don't need to because there aren't any safe zones here. Uh, mini blins hanging out. Just do jump attacks on them if you can. I said if you can. You gotta be at relatively far distance to do so, and they're kind of wiggly, so... You'll d get differing runs depending on uh, your luck coming through here, I guess you could say. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna mark my map when I get to the safe zone up there, so don't you worry about it. Alright, and now this is where I need my boomerang for that I forgot. Yeah, I thought I needed it earlier, but it's actually used here. That'll turn off the wind and give you a chest, which contains a red potion! Oh yeah, I haven't needed to use a single potion yet. Alright, so map, what I'm gonna do is, uh, plus 30. And, let's close that a little bit. Oh, 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 my OCD, my perfect circle. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't perfect at all. And there we go. That was a much worse 30, but whatever. All right, now I got a puzzle on this in this room that if you know, you can just run over to the door in the center, basically, and finish it off. But I want to show you the, the fun of this area right here. The ghost ship is up ahead. And so we're going to mark on here what tablets are which numbers. So this one is number two. Got it. Okay. What's the point of this? Well, you guessed it. It's a puzzle. <laughs> and I'm gonna kill you off because I don't want any more phantoms to appear if I can help it. <laughs> this is just a little hint of sorts. There are four stone tablets that govern the, the crest. And over here is a switch you want to hit. We won't have to do this in the future, so I'm not gonna bother marking this on my map. Uh, in fact, I really don't have to mark any of this on my map because I know what to do. Before you lies the fourth tablet governing the crest. So, number four here. That was a really long tail on that four. <laughs> um, 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 um. Can I, like, uh, well. Are you gonna go in circles? Well, I wanna hit this because I'll turn off the wind first off. Uh oh, uh oh! Spin, spin, spin! Oh, that didn't make more phantoms come. That's, well, that's okay. <laughs> They just alerted me of the presence. I mean, my, uh, they just alerted them of my presence, excuse me. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I just had to show that at least once. I, th I find that tablet really funny. So yeah, do not bother with that tablet whatsoever, ever. <laughs> Oops, I want to go to my bombs here. Um... Uh... Hmm. Hey, that was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, which way? You're gonna go that way? Okay. Oh, shoot! <laughs> That's okay. I went a little bit too quick for my own good there, and it's gonna respawn somewhere over there, if I recall correctly. Uh, yeah, it does. It's gonna go around the same... Oh, shoot. <laughs> ah! Yeah! Ah! Nah, it's really... That one and that one that spawn. It's not really that one. This is the, I'm gonna have the same issue with this one as always in my playthroughs. Uh, it's just a matter of timing here. Come on, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Oop, there we go. All right, now bombs, bombs. Get ready, get ready, get ready. To get our mark on the stone tablets. Hello, stone tablet. Third tablet. So number three. That was terrible. I should also erase this. <laughs> number three. There we go. All right. Now over here, we got a heart. Oh, I thought that was a heart. <laughs> that turns that off for the sake of moving around. I don't think I'm gonna even need to bother with that one. And careful. Oh shoot. Well. <laughs> Hello. Alright, as long as I'm waiting here. And now... Yeah, this is what I need to do. I'm gonna go back over here when I switch items so I don't waste my time on the Phantom Hourglass. Oh shoot, <laughs> the wind went away! But you know what I'm trying to do here, don't you? Yeah, oops. Oh, oh yeah, those are alerted too! <laughs> oh, that worked. Aha! And he even ran towards it thinking it was some sort of thing that I did. Well, okay, go. <laughs> Whee! 
I tap that. And that unlocks the final tablet. This is tablet number one and five. I'm just gonna run through here. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Hey, let me talk to it. Thank you. Sacred Crest both begins and ends with me. Discover the crest and the way through the door shall be revealed. Hmm, I wonder what shape the Sacred Crest is. Are you taking notes? There are four tablets, so... So you go one and five. That's not fifteen, it's one and five. And you know what I can do? Watch this. <laughs> I don't care, I've got the wind all cleared here. This is the thing I need to do. In a single stroke, draw the Sacred Crest to reveal a new path. So this is why you drew the order of this here. You, what you want to do is draw from here to... Whoops. I, I'm not not in my map, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, I'm used to having it like this. What you want to do is make a symbol that looks like this. Draw from here to number two, then back to three, then to number four, and then back to five, thusly. I'm just going to leave that corner broken there to show you that, yeah, it's, it's a start and end point at those points rather than join them. So, you're gonna see exactly what symbol this is, and it sure looks familiar. Yep, it's the Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> so, we could actually erase those marks on our map if we want to. But, uh, I don't really care to. Whoa, look at that, it's the door to heaven. <laughs> so, what is this? It is, first off, 30 seconds. And, what is this? What is this? What it, huh? Press the secret crest against the C chart to transfer it. Now, what you're supposed to do here is close your DS. The Temple of Courage will open the whole open to the holder of the Sun Key. Now, what you're supposed to do is close the C the uh, the DS once you get the right uh, right map up here. So, like you see, this is a mirror of this map here. But since I'm unable to close my DS because I'm on an emulator, I have it set to the backspace key to put the DS in, I mean, put the emulation in sleep mode. And then if you press the backspace key again to get out of it, and the mark transfers over to your map. Wow, Link, you figured out what it means by pressing them together. The crest is here! But that's the middle of the sea. Is there a key? I hate to say it, but maybe we should go ask Lineback what he thinks. <laughs> And, conveniently, that appears for us, so we don't have to backtrack through the whole dungeon. Woohoo! <sighs> We're done. <laughs> that appeared to be the final room of the Temple of the Ocean King. Well, appeared to be. <laughs> That's the, this is the game's master dungeon, as people like to call it, and thus, we gotta travel there a bunch of times, so we're not done yet, because as you've seen, there were other stuff that we could get there. I mean, there was other stuff we could get there, that was terrible, terrible English. <laughs> and we got more mail again, really? Wow, this is a very generous mail day. <laughs> Edo, I mean, Edo of Cannon Island. <clears throat> Ready for this? Hey, you, Link, I got some very big news. Big, big news! See, I've been working on a salvage arm for a long time, but now it's ready! This gorgeous piece of machinery lets ships pull up treasure from the seafloor! I'm gonna sell this thing to the first one who gets here. Ready, set, sail! Who's gonna be the lucky customer to claim it? Edo. We gotta get that salvage arm, I think. That sounds like a good idea, especially for my OCD of 100% completion. But I'm gonna get that salvage arm in the next part. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then.